How about wrestling New Jack? <laughs> um, that was an interesting night. We, uh, you know, when I found out that I was wrestling him in a hardcore match, I was just like, this is, you know, it's, it's, it's a uh, man up time, basically. And it's, it's funny because we went out there and we had wrestled before uh, some other matches, you know, he'd come, he did some run-ins. I was, uh, I, when I started out, they teamed we, me up with uh, Danny Doring and um, Amish Roadkill, Roadkill. And those kids were, they, they well, I had to call them kids because they were, you know, so young at the time. But, uh, you know, it was great even having them, you know, as, as partners, as teammates, because they were, you know, pretty new in the business. But, uh, and we had been in some matches where New Jack had run in and I had been hit with computer keyboards and guitar. I actually said I'd save the guitar and I don't know if it's still over my parents or not. It was the first guitar I ever got hit with. So, uh, but um, yeah, we went into, uh, going to this match. I was a little nervous too because I had seen some things that had gone on with him. And so anyway, we went out into this match and I'm getting hit with literally everything in the kitchen sink, you know, toasters and you know, and I love people who say, oh, you know, like chair shots, oh, yeah, chair shots, they're smacking your brain into your skull, basically, so it doesn't feel good, but we were out there doing our thing, going back and forth, in and out of the ring, and, and he was, he was laying it in, and I, you know, I always, you know, he was getting a little rough with some of the things, and, and when I finally got him, I ended up, like, poking him in the head with a fork or something like that, and, you know, he was bleeding, and, I ended up actually, I had never bladed before, you know, that's, and it turned out, you know, I got whacked, and, and I did, and blood was coming out, and then it closed up, and he basically tried everything he could to open me up a hard way, I mean, he was wailing on me, and, uh, and I took it a couple times, I couldn't say during the match, I was, I'd been hit so hard, and just kind of went with it, and then for his finish, you know, he comes off the top rope, with a chair and he made sure he came down extra hard. He came up and I was coming up off the mat and he hit me so hard. And all I remember was two, three, and then I like snapped and woke up. Basically I was out, once he hit me with the chair, I went out and woke up on the two, three count. And uh, I was trying to figure out where I was and I figured I was in the ring and I figured, well, let me get the hell out of the ring. And, um, I can't remember Lance's name now, it's killing me, but he used to be a, you know, announcer with WWE and uh, he was actually my manager and he had a hold of me, he's trying to hold me up and I'm just, I know my eyes were going both th two different ways and, you know, I got in the back and it ended up, you know, they, DCW had their TV at the time, but it wasn't, you know, it was like local TV and I remember seeing, uh, you know, seeing it come on actually, and there was just, they just had a clip of it, and it was a clip of him coming off the top, and that's how I realized what really happened when he came off the top and, you know, hit me with a chair, he just wailed into it with a chair, and uh, I realized that's why I got knocked out. And, you know, that's the only part they showed because I didn't end up, you know, bleeding real bad or anything like that. Hindsight, I would have, uh, you know, opened up, but I didn't, at the time, I didn't really know what, you know, what was going on, so. But that's my, you know, those are my impressions. You know, I've heard a lot worse stories. I mean, you know, hey, it didn't kill me. Uh, I was having fun in the match. I mean, I can honestly say even getting my head smacked around, I was still having fun in the match. But it, uh, you know, a little, little liberties taken. And that's, you know, I was a new guy coming in. So, you know, I wasn't going to let it get too much farther. But, uh, you know, it worked, it worked out okay. I'm going to link New Jack to the next question then. Um, people say that he is overly overly stiff. Um, ECW is known as being overly stiff to begin with, but people say that he takes it to the next level. Did you find the company overly, you know, are the wrestlers overly stiff, or just that, uh, that incident? You know, it was really that incident, but, you know, like I, I say, I, I can't say that, a, I, I guess I can't really say a hardcore match is overly stiff. Um, you know, it, you got to lay it in there, you know, it's just, I think some of the things I got hit with, I think I got hit with a telephone, you know, th objects like that, like getting hit with a chair hurts, but I mean, it's something that, you know, you take your, your head's, your head's getting wrong, it's ringing your bell, but with some of the objects like a toaster, things like that, and then getting that, you know, smashed in your head, you know, really 
mean, you can, there's ways around it, but I mean, you know, but it, but it looks good. I mean, it should, it, it, it's real. I mean, you know, people, oh, that's one thing, you know, wrestling's fake, but when you're getting hit, it's real. You really feel it, it really hurts. I probably really had a concussion. You know, I went home that night, actually, I drove home and went to my buddy's bar and I stayed up till six o'clock in the morning. Went home, went fishing, because I didn't want to go to sleep. I was worried, because I was still, you know, woozy in the head and things like that, but, uh, you know, so I guess technically I can't really say that he was overly stiff. I mean, I think, I, I think you, you know, I don't think if he was working with one of the other guys that he'd been around with for a while, I don't think it would have been as. But you know what? It, it's it's a good show. It didn't kill me. You know, that's and uh, you know that that that's how he works. And you know, he's made it work over the years for him. You know, he's had trouble. You know, he's had gotten some trouble for it, but you know, that's that's his style, that's what he does, and you know that going in.